Let's talk about what is an identity in mathematics. Now, identity is a type of is a type of equations. Equations can broadly be categorized in two types. One is identity and another one is conditional. Let's talk about this first. Now, if you take an algebraic expression, x plus three multiplied by x plus one, this is an algebraic expression. Why it is an expression? Because you don't have any equal sign here and you don't have any uh, other expression on the right hand side. That's why it's just an expression. So if you simplify this expression, then you get x multiplied by x plus one plus three multiplied by x plus one. And then this becomes x squared plus x plus three x plus three. This x and this three x are two like terms. If you add them together, you get x squared plus four x plus three. It means that this expression that is x plus three multiplied by x plus one is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now since here you have now and uh, you ha here you have the equal sign and to the left hand side of this equal sign you have an algebraic expression that is x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 1. To the right hand side of this equal sign you have another expression that is actually nothing else but the simplified version of this one that makes it now this is an equation now this is an equation or we can say a, an equality because of this equal sign okay what's special about this equality or equation this equation is true for all the values of x for every value of x there's no exception whatsoever when this equation is not true for a given value of x. It is true for every value of x. So if you put one here, let's say that you put one here, you get one plus three is four multiplied by two, you get eight. You put one here, you get one plus four plus three equal to eight. You put five here, you get eight multiplied by six, that is 48. Here 5 squared is 25 plus 5 is 20 and plus 3 gives you 48. You can check for other values of x. So the point is that doesn't matter what value you take, uh, what value you put for x here at the place of x, it is true for each and every value of x. This equation that is LHS is equal to RHS for every value of x. So the next question should come that is there any a condition or situation when the uh, uh, this equation is not true? Yes, that is when this conditional equations, you know, we talk about conditional equations and let's take some examples. This is an equation, right? 10x plus 3 is equal to 33. Why it's an equation? You have an equal sign and to the right left hand side of this equal sign, you have an expression and to the right hand side of this equal sign you have another expression similarly for these two as well now this particular equation is only true for x is equal to 3 is only and only true for x is equal to 3 you cannot put any other value at this place so that this equation you know uh, holds true so like if you put 4 here you'll get 40 plus 3 that is 43 43 is not equal to 33 if you put 3 here, you get 10 plus 10 times 3 is 30 plus 3, that is 33. So 33 is equal to 33, right? Same if you put 1 here, you get 10 plus 3, that is 13. 13 is not equal to 33. Now, if you check for this one, in this case, it's only and only true for a is equal to 2, right? So 6 times 2 is 12 plus 6 is 18. So on the left hand side, you have 18 and 9 times 2 is 18. So 18 is equal to 18, LHS is equal to RHS, 
but only and only for a is equal to 2. That is why we say that these are conditional equations. These are not identity. Same thing here. If you check for this one, it's only true for x is equal to 25. 5 times 25 is 125 plus 5 is 130. That is LHS is equal to RHS only at x is equal to 25. That makes it conditional equations. So that's a difference that identity is true for every value of variable in the equation, but and, and con a conditional equation is only true for a particular value, okay? So that's the basic difference between identity and uh, conditional equations.